Hey mate, we're about to go on a wild red rock adventure. Come and join us as we go hiking and see some wild dingo dogs. Shit, we have a giant squid. Looky here. It's got a million tentacles. Right here. That's how you know the ocean used to be right here. This little piece of squid right here. Don't you know that? Oh shit, we got more wildlife. Look over there. Wildebeest. <laughs> Three wildebeest. <laughs> so this is how you know that little people used to live here. So you see, this is their little stairway. And they would walk up their little stairway to go to their little homes. And they would eat their homes out of the marshmallow and then they'd live there. So see this little stairway, look how little these people were. Because here's my foot. And my foot does not fit on these steps like them little peoples must have. This is the remnants of a lost civilization of little people. Amy, what was Jessica. Are the what do you think? I think I discovered why they call this place Red Rock. Why? Shit, yeah. Red marshmallows. How about we head that way and we can eat our lunch over there and we can try some marshmallow for dessert. Jessica, that sounds like a beautiful idea. Look, look at her standing on them little people's steps. Look how much bigger we are than that last civilization that was out here. I believe these people must have been at least the size of my thumb. Maybe smaller. We'll never know. Maybe they used to ride upon them buffalo that had the wings that were this big. <laughs> I don't know how the hell them buffalo flew with wings this big, but maybe they were little buffalo and we're just harvesting the little buffalo of the little people now somewhere in some kind of place. This is another one of them sea anemones. That's how we know the ocean used to be here. Look at these. Right. What we see right here, that's where some wildlife is eating straight through that marshmallow. <laughs> Good eye, mate. I found another way we know that this was once an ocean. As long with the anemones that we found in little ears and the big marshmallows, there's a beach. Shit, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ever heard of the Murphy Orphanage? No. We've got been lost in, up here about two weeks ago. We've been in search for them ever since. We've been in pursuit of Clutchy Hopkins and their crew. You head back into deeps by Calico Tanks. Go north about three clicks. You'll find Murphy's Canyon. God damn. Dodger, Dodger. We're so, famous. J did, Junk. Dr. Miller. Did, did y'all try any of those hardened marshmallows? Ooh, They're delicious. Right now. Them is They're sweet as cherry pie. <laughs> They're delicious. You Did you? Because I almost broke my teeth on one. It tastes <laughs> like a rock. Well, that's the only thing that kept us living these last two weeks. Mm -hmm. is that, the you know, marshmallows? The you just gotta grind them instead of chew them. Oh shit, Amy. Look what I found. I found treasure. Right, we got right here. This is a really rare jewel. It's worth probably about six million dollars. It's a... Uh, there's a bee by me. There's a bee by you. <laughs> This, look, look, it even came with some wrapping. Michelob, that's the name of the, the rare jewel. It's a Michelob. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna, uh, we're just gonna leave this in its natural habitat since this is a national park. But, uh, just wanted y'all to see this because you don't see many of these. Michelob jewel? That's all. That's a wrap. Here, this tree has fallen down. It was probably a wildebeest, or maybe a wild zebra. But if you see here, he tore the roots right out of the ground. Crikey, that was a strong zebra. This is a rare thing. They've got their young with them. <laughs> it's, I think these are grizzly bears. Holy shit, it is a giant chinchilla. Oh, where did it, it did it oh, move? It moved, it moved shit. Away. That chinchilla could kill us with one bite. God, that was terrifying, Amy. All right, let's go find a marshmallow table to eat our sandwiches on. There's another giant chinchilla. That thing is massive. Let's try to get a little closer. Amy, this could kill us with one bite. One bite and we are dead. Oh, there it goes. They are fast as lightning. Oh, shit, there he is again. Holy Toledo. Where? Oh my god, there are many of them. Jessica, I suggest we get out of here before these wild chinchillas try to eat us. Oh shit. Well, how are we going to eat our sandwiches if there's chinchillas everywhere? This used to be Narnia right here. 
friggin' Narnia. Oh shit, follow me. Come look at this, Amy. Hey, this is part of the ocean. Look at this, this water is salty as shit. Salt water. And it ain't kosher salt. That's how I know it's real. So here we go, we got some marshmallows. So they soften up a little bit whenever they get wet. You don't want to eat this though, it's covered in salt water. But uh, this is just beautiful. I mean, there is bug larva up in here. There is life flourishing, Amy. Jessica, take a look at that. What am I looking they are sharks. I see those sharks. They are, they are, that's how you know about evolution. But those sharks. Those sharks have evolved. Those sharks they can live on land. land. Those sharks have learned to breathe. They have without lungs. their gills. Them sharks got lungs. That shark's got them they right there. They are taking in that air that God that gave them. Oh, shit, they are evolving into humans. Them sharks are evolving into humans. Now, I think that's a hammerhead shark. I don't know what they're doing in them sea anemones over there. <laughs> I think they're they're scavenging for food, but we're going we're gonna go eat our sandwiches now. Time for some lunch right about now. Here, we're just stopping for some lunch it's right now. We killed a moose. That's what we're eating. And cheese, moose cheese. Moose, moose cheese. We milked it first. Milked it, milked it. Made the cheese. There's there's a moose right there. Just go look at that. Hold on. Oh my god, that moose is huge. Try to eat some of them marshmallows. Alright, here's the red marshmallow. Here it goes. Oh! I think I chipped a tooth. <laughs> Shit. That marshmallow is gritty as hell. I just don't think these are a good idea to eat. I can't even believe. These marshmallows don't taste better. I guess chemical reactions with the environment has made these marshmallows lose their flavor. And you know, there's that Bible verse about not letting the salt become unsalty. And people shouldn't have let these goddamn marshmallows become unsweet. It's a lesson in this, Amy. You take care of your food. No more crunchy marshmallows. These marshmallows suck. All right, guys, this is, this is, we're done with Red Rock for the day. Amy, you got any words for them people while you drink that water? You know what, Jessica? I have a few words. I've had a mighty fine time out here in the forest of jungle. <laughs> the sun's starting to set, and when the sun sets, that's when all Harry Potter comes out. Harry Potter? Harry Potter comes out at Shit. night. Shit. Does he hang out with Aslan? Aslan. So before... They zap us. We gotta get out of here. Oh shit. Here, Amy. I think oh, I had six different accents. Hold, hold this little camera. Alright. You know, folks, she is right. This place turns into a madhouse at night. You know, people die every night here. It's, it's really dangerous. So, uh, you know, that's why I didn't come out here unprepared. So in case any of these wildebeest went crazy, I'm ready. I'm ready to cut them throats. I will cut them throats straight off. <laughs> and they will bleed, and their blood will fall to the ground, and they will not hurt us. Ooh. So, this is my knife. That's how I protect us. See, there's blood all over the knife already. I've had to kill like four ninjas today. <laughs> and them ninjas are scary as hell. Look there. Here's them wildebeest again. So, we, we've been safe, guys. I just want you to know, this isn't for the amateurs. Don't you come out to Red Rock. Don't you come out to Red Rock without being prepared. We just want to say thank you for joining us on our journey. So, um, I, well, I got to admonish them. They think If they think they can just go out here and just conquer Red Rock, you're mistaken. It's not going to happen. You need to bring protection. And I don't mean that kind of protection. And if you see Amy, pay her $600 to be your guide. Because I am the rawest of guides. She's raw. <laughs> All right, our sandwiches were good, and we are done at Red Rock. So uh, we're gonna make it home safe, and then uh, this is the, the the thrust area. Thank you. Come again.